wanted to do a video here covering the blocks feature inside Reason. I use this most of the time. Sometimes I don't quite feel it and I just lay things down in the song view as you can see here. But there are some pretty neat features in blocks and we'll, we'll, we'll dive into that and take a look here. So put together a little example song here uh, and I've just copied to track all the relevant pieces straight into song view here. And that's totally acceptable. I do that as well, um, depending on how I feel like working. So in this case, I've got a little eight bar loop here. I could just stretch this out and we could start control copying over here. Um, we could drop out the claps out of this one if we wanted to, the kick and a clap in there and start manipulating it that way. And that's fine, that all works, no problem at all. But there is a, another way of doing this uh, in Reason. So let's take that back, just let you have a little preview to the, uh, the little demo song that I've put together for this video. So in this example, obviously it's quite repetitive at the moment, it's going to loop like that for, for eight, but um, this is where blocks can be useful. When you're doing your arrangement, you've got quite repetitive sounds, you can very quickly lay down an arrangement, go through that, manipulate it, add some automation in there to mix it up a little bit. So out of the box, you'll see there's no option. Blocks is not turned on, so it's an option you have to enable. OK, so up in the options menu item, there's an enable blocks. If you turn that on, you can see you get this block and song buttons appear here in the sequencer. So switching to block, uh, pretty much looks the same but you have the ability to use the drop down here and change blocks here as you're uh, going through and creating all the different blocks in the arrangement that you want. So to get quickly started here you can rename a block so I'm going to call this main loop. I'm just going to go with a single block to start with and what I can do is go back to song view by just alternating here between the two I can do a control A on Windows and select all those clips that I've already built. Control X them out of there. Go back into block, making sure I'm at the beginning of the block and control V it, paste it in there. So if I just play this, we're back where we were, but obviously we're not working in song view here, we're working in blocks, okay? So uh, if you take a look at this block, you can color it. So you can select the color clip. So I might have this as red. Um, you can then go back to song view and using the pencil tool if you enable it you get this little block section here and you can see you can choose from the 32 blocks I can choose my main loop that I created and I can draw in here with the pencil tool a couple of things you might notice I can't actually edit the clips here right but I can very quickly again duplicate that whole arrangement there or I can just stretch it out if I want to make it run for, let's go for the majority of the track. So I'm going to do an alt click there to set the right loop at the end there. So what I can do now I've got this loop laid down here, I can start using the razor tool here and I can start breaking this up into sections, okay, just by snipping this up. If you don't do that, when you use something like the uh, mute tool here, if you tried to mute that entire um, or, the, or the kick out or mute the entire kick and clap out for the duration on, inside the sequencer there whereas if you start chopping this up with a razor tool you can mute out individual pieces so in this case I might want to start this off and I don't want the bass to start with maybe we'll just start with the claps and the kick take out the synths <clears throat> take out the vocal 
and uh, maybe we'll start bringing these things in uh, one at a time so we'll leave the synth uh, for that second loop of eight and then we'll start to bring maybe just that one in there and we'll start to build this up so you'll see as I play this it'll start to transition over time so no bass, no synths, no tops tops and bass come in there so you can see where I've muted that and if we scoot this along we start to bring in uh, one of the synths there of course I can carry on through here and I can start building this up and then breaking it down in a certain section here so what I can do is let's say we get to here and we want this to all break down here I can uh, raise a tool it out maybe take out the kick take out the bass there maybe leave the claps in we're going to keep that synth running maybe just the vocal effect so when I hit this the track starts to break down there so you can see it's super quick to just be able to go through and lay down an arrangement with an idea you've got with a loop but of course there's another way that we can do this is uh, we can just create another block for the breakdown okay so we broke this bit up here for the breakdown and that's part of main loop what I'm going to do is delete that out of there so just press and delete on the keyboard or right click delete so I can go back into blocks mode and I can create a new block okay so I don't want to copy all these clips in again so what I can do is control A it control C it to copy them all and then I can flick to block 2 and I might name this one breakdown it's important that you name them because if you're working with multiple blocks you want to know what each part is as you're laying down your arrangement so if I go into breakdown here inside breakdown I can just paste in so an important thing to remember is making sure that you, you the, the pointer's in the right place before you do your pace or you can just move them along to adjust that now I've got the same clips in breakdown so but in here what I might want to do is there will be no kicks or claps in here there'll be no bass in here I'll take the tops out and to take out the vocals and maybe I'll leave the effects in and I can manipulate that with a mute tool okay so now if we go back into the song we can we can come in here and you, you don't have to use the pencil tool you can just double click in this bar and start to drag it you'll notice it's defaulted to main loop but if I drop this little drop down here I can change it to block 2 okay which I made a mistake there I've renamed the wrong block so if we go back in that's actually block 3 so you just need to be careful here that you're naming the right block this is easily resolved I can just put this back to block 3 I can control A cut those out of there go back to block 2 so you see how quickly you can manipulate this stuff make sure my point is in the right place control V back into the song and now in my breakdown you can see it's picked up the relevant clips that's in breakdown if I play this we're kind of back where we were and then throughout this part we might want to drop out some of the bits here so in order to do that I'm going to have to split it there if I want to drop out that scene from that point I might want to make it even tighter near the end and put it right down to the basics where I'm actually dropping out the vocal as well here before it kicks back in so of course as I say you can create as many blocks as you want you can colour them, make sure you name them properly so it's easy when you're laying it down and you're picking this stuff out so in terms of uh, you know making transitions in here giving it some altering the state somehow this can be quite repetitive so you can still do all your automation I've got another video on my channel about doing automation so take a look at that it'll go go into it in more detail for you and the number of ways you can do that But maybe as the track drops back in here maybe on this synth I want to automate some uh, a filter on it maybe or something so I'm going to use this uh, classic filter from Magna Sonic and I'm going to right click on this cut off and do edit automation so again here it creates me a low pass high pass uh, lane in here where I can do my automation I'm just going to move it down alongside and because I'm pretty OCD I'm going to have to color that as well what I tend to do is put the name of that at the front of the uh, label as well uh, so in here I'm just going to draw in double click draw in some automation and I'm going to bring that filter bring it in steadily as it kicks off so if we solo this 
particular section out and we play from here you'll notice there's nothing playing but notice the automation with the green line taking place around it this is where it's starting to kick in and you can start to hear that building in the filter on that particular synth so again super quick way of laying this down playing around with ideas creating that initial loop and then laying it down in some sort of arrangement create as many blocks as you like it's uh, I think you got 32 maximum but um, it's a cool feature and the other neat thing about it is is if I decide at this point that maybe the uh, the claps that I'm using here uh, are not actually the ones that I want you know I've changed my mind I don't like how they're sounding in there so what I can do is is I can uh, go into block mode and, and I'm using them in the breakdown here so what I'm going to do is take out that clip there because I'm going to alter the particular sample here so I'm using this metal <coughs> excuse me sample in, in claps what I want to do is enable the loop playback I'm going to audition some different sounds here maybe maybe I like I like the sound of that one let's try that one so what I can do is I can right click copy loop to track and it will copy it into that block that I've got selected if I go back to the song and now we listen to the claps they're the ones we've selected one thing just be aware of here is because we've got multiple blocks in play here if I go back to blocks and go to main loop you just need to be careful because the clip that's gone in here was for the original claps that we had in there. So if I solo this out and play that, it sounds a little bit different. So you just need to be aware that you'll need to clean up inside the other blocks as well. So I can do this, right, cop right click, copy loop to track, or of course do what we did at the start of the video. I can take a snip from the breakdown because we've already popped that in there. I tend to join clips for some reason. I got into the habit of doing that as well. Um, but of course you can copy it from here. Right click, uh, uh, choose copy or control C and then go into your main loop and then on that particular uh, track paste it in. And that will make sure you're in the right place again, of course. Okay, so I've got my alignment and issue here. So what I'm going to do is just delete that put the spacer in the right place this time and away we go so if you listen to that now the clap is as we've got and of course if we go back to the song and we play part of the loops don't quite work there but you get the idea where you can change and manipulate these things after the point okay so that's another video from me there's more on the way all about reason and integration with machine ableton various videos I'm starting to put together now so please uh, subscribe and follow and I look forward to doing the next video yeah, 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 yeah.